Hello, friend, from the fair winds, crow's nest. Blessings of the moons upon you. This one is Reba, and rubbing fur with Lurius Corvinus. Hello. And Flipsy's daggers, Toda. Hello, everyone. We've been working on the sets for our latest ESO movie, The Godslayer. And as part of the Cursed Privateer story, we needed to add some firepower to this massive ship of a house. As you may or may not know, there are no off-the-shelf cannons in ESO. So if you wanted to outfit your own ship, we thought you would enjoy the final designs implemented for the cannons in the movie. For our filming, we needed to have both topside cannons that could be rolled to where these would be needed during a battle, as well as fixed in place firepower made up of larger long gun or long nine style cannons for the lower deck portals. This one wanted a gun carriage with wheels for upper deck and tried mini pipe and vehicle combinations, was like building sand rope, until finding this fragrant build on ESO forums. Much praise and warm sands to Mage Cat. Also, this one learned essential housing tools and will share sugar later, so Swift Hunters can create cannons in flick of a tail with copy-paste. One question, Reba. Why does that one on the left look kind of like it's sitting on a foosball table? <laughs> this one agrees. The handles are not really the look this one hoped for, and will let Lurius explain. The components are listed below in the comments section include a luxury vendor item clockwork lens assembly frozen as the cannon barrel with craftable red guard pot hanging brushed as breech cover. A craftable dwarven pipeline column makes up the cannon bore and muzzle. There are many different pipes with similar names, so you will want to be careful crafting or purchasing the correct pipe from a guild trader. Lastly, we are using luxury vendor item minecart skeletal remains for the gun carriage or base. As you may also see here, we could not locate enough matching minecarts for all four cannons from the guild traders and substituted minecart push from the housing editor purchase tab. If you do not want a foosball table for a base, be sure to select minecart empty from the purchase tab instead. Jumping on to assembly with Reba, here are a few key things to note in matching up your parts for a more accurate fit. The first, at the risk of being obvious, is that each piece is hexagonal shaped and the cannon will look better for the extra bit of twisting things in place to match the corners and edges up. Also, clockwork lens assembly, frozen, should be rotated to appear to have the cannon vent hole on top. Next, in order to work with the cannons as a unit when sitting on the mine carts, link the items. Here, this one made the frozen assembly parent with child links to both end piece items, and will have Lurius explain housing tools. Before you get started with essential housing tools, at a bare minimum, you will need to add a keybind for the add-on select feature. The default for the select keybind is G. You will also want to change the setting for selection mode to connected items. Next, using the G keybind, select the cannon you will see a selected items pop up and notice the pieces each now have a check mark. Using the housing tools menu, click copy selected to load the items to the clipboard. You will see a pop up to confirm. Once the items are pasted, you will need to link them so you can move the cannon as a unit. Using the magic of filming, we're going to speed up the replication process and get the cannons back on their carriages or mine carts. Here are the completed cannons with a few cursed crew members for company. Oh, and no more foosball table. Next, we're going below deck to share a different three item count cannon build. But before we forget, Please be sure to like and subscribe 
hit the notification bell and let us know in the comments if you have any other housing builds you'd like to see. And now our fragrant finished long guns below deck. Notice on the right or starboard half this one placed an extra item in the cannon muzzles for special effect to have the guns ablazing along with skeleton crew, ammunition, or caisson boxes. This one left the port side cannons plain so you can see the long guns both ways. One of the things you'll notice is that the portals are about shoulder height where the muzzle exits the ship so Reba needed a taller gun carriage than above deck. Next, Lurius is going to walk us through the parts. The components for the long guns are noted in the comments section below and include the clockwork barrel sealed as the cannon barrel coupled with dwarven pipe half column as the cannon bore and muzzle. Again, be careful locating the correct pipe with so many having very similar names. For the gun carriage, we used clockwork charging station animal core. These pieces can be crafted or purchased from a guild trader and may also be available for crowns from the housing editor purchase tab. Lastly, an optional piece you may want for special effect and to show your guns ablazing is Replica Cursed Orb of Meridia, available from the Undaunted Achievement Furnishings vendor. Once you have a cannon assembled, be sure to use housing tools like before to copy, paste, and link the cannon items to create seven more. After you have all eight cannons created, you can seat each one on their own gun carriage in the fleek of a tail. Well, that's all for the Fair Winds Cannon Building. We had fun sharing this with you, and we hope to see you all again soon. Wow, Lurius, come look. You can see the lower deck long gun cannon muzzles exploding from up here. Really, Toda? That sounds absolutely fascinating. This! Toda! What were you thinking? I can't believe you did that. What? All I did was say, look, not leap. Uh, true. I guess everyone cannot be as smooth and fragrant as you are, Toda. Thanks. <laughs> Wait. Hey, you two, a little help down here. Rajin Shadow, Argy, Yayu, stop dancing on that cannon and bring me a cargo net. 